Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play project. Welcome to Let's Play Lost in Blue 3. It's a little game about basically surviving on a tropical island. I did LP Lost in Blue 2 before, but 3 adds a few new features that I actually kind of like. Although, there are some problems with Lost in Blue 3. It's also the last in the Lost in Blue series, which, which is kind of a shame. I actually like the series, but let's begin. Uh, so basically at the start we get to choose either between a boy and a girl. There are some differences between them, but we're gonna go with the guy's story. Mostly because his character is kind of more integral to the main plot. So let's begin. Aw, dolphins. Dolphins are actually a big part of this game, unfortunately not really on the male side. But we get the first look at our new island home. We're gonna be here for a while, guys. So... Actually, we're in pretty good shape. I'll explain the whole stats thing on the top screen in a little bit. But let's see what happened. Also, the art style in this game is kind of weird compared to the old ones. So, we were on a ship. And then we beat up some guy in a tuxedo. And then we kind of fell off. So yeah. Kind of we're in a shipwreck, shipwreck and now we are stuck on a desert island. Great. But anyways, movement controls are pretty much the usual. Let's take a quick look around. Oh. Seven one six. That might be important later, so we better remember that. But yeah, let's take a quick look at our inventory. Right now, all we have is a pendant. Let's not discard it. We kind of want to keep it for now. So yeah, we're actually in pretty good shape. Up on the top screen, we can see our stats. Right now, we're at about 80% health. If that ever reaches zero, we're dead. And there's a coconut here. Let's pick that up. Coconuts are a pretty good food source. But yeah, the left stat there is stamina. That drains as we just do stuff. Also, if we hold B, we can run. At least the running speed in this game is actually pretty quick. And we can shake trees for stuff. Uh, the middle one is our hunger. If that reaches zero, we'll actually start being fine. But if, like, stamina or thirst reaches zero, we'll start losing health. Also, if stamina reaches zero, we can't really do anything. Like, run. But for now, let's just pick up as many coconuts as we can. We are going to be relying on coconuts for a while. Also, if you like trees... We can shake them. So yeah, the game does use the touchscreen quite a bit. Basically all this is, is use the touchscreen to shake stuff. Uh, we should get coconut. Oop, there it is. Oh, we got some coconut. We got some coconuts. That'll last us for a while. Let's take a quick look around the beach. What else is here? Oh, that's actually kind of a pretty picture. Although it kind of does distract from the fact that we are kind of stuck on a desert island with no real help. Well, we found the singer at least. At 
least we know some other people survived. Uh, we were on the same ship. So yeah, our main character's name is Sam, and he kinda has amnesia. Oh, great. But we found another survivor. So yeah, that's the thing about Lost in Blue, it's all about cooperative survival. So now we have two people. She is actually in much better shape than we are. But as long as- oh. No, don't eat raw seaweed. But we might as well pick up a few of them up. But anyways, as I was saying, if you run up to people and hit Y, you can basically run together. Luckily she'll keep up pretty well- oh wait, there's something buried here. Oh yeah, and about this game, there are snakes. Don't let them bite you. Snakes kind of hurt. Alright, so we want to look for... There it is. Just dig that up, and now we have a clam. Actually, we have quite a few things. Let's take a quick look. So yes, yeah, seaweed. We can't eat this raw. We are going to need to cook that. Although, technically, you can't eat seaweed raw. And we can't eat the clam raw. Actually, I think we can, but we might get sick. So anyways, let's take another look around. Also, if we hit L or R, we can bring up a map. Uh, I like using the map more often, just because it's easy to keep track of stats. Ooh. We might as well grab some coconuts. Our hunger is pretty good for now. Basically, the point of hunger is uh, to refill stamina. So you can see if we rest, we can pretty much convert hunger to stamina. Also, we probably shouldn't do that. It's starting to get dark. We need to find some shelter. We have plenty of coconuts. That's not really a problem right now. Also, we should probably find a water source at some point. Uh, I think there's some water over here. Yep, here's the river. Don't worry. Unfortunately, there are a few things that aren't really so realistic. You can't get diarrhea from drinking water in this game. So yeah, just run up and drink. And if you have anyone with you, they'll drink too. Don't let your water reach zero, otherwise you'll start losing health and you can't eat. Alright, let's see. There should be a cave, like, right up here. We should probably find a place to sleep though, it's already 7.30. That's not that late, but you kind of don't want beyond the wilderness at night. Okay. Alright, let's take a look in this deep dark cave. It's not that deep. Also someone may already set up bedding and firewood. Well, that's convenient. Alright, there's not a bear living in here as far as we can tell. And it's relatively stable. Well, people's personalities do change when they can't remember anything. Also, the dialogue's going a bit fast. That's kind of not my fault, because the game kind of auto, uh, auto continues. It is a cave. Although, if it's a tropical area, you would think it would be warmer.
But yeah, we're gonna need to find some firewood. And a fire starter. Let's see if we can find something. Uh, oh, mushrooms. Alright, mushrooms are kind of a gamble. They're actually randomized every game, so sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Usually there's one mushroom that I always look for. So we'll start, you know, just eating them. Uh, let's start with black. And we'll wait for that to take effect. Let's climb up here. And climbing and stuff also takes away stamina. And apparently Sam has wilderness experience. Well, that's helpful. But yeah, it, climbing stuff takes away stamina. So try to keep it to a minimum. I think every single time you climb takes away one point of stamina. Let's see. Ooh, twigs. I like twigs. Let's grab as many of these as we... Oops, I didn't mean to shake... Ah, eh, fine, we'll shake the tree. Let's see what we get. Uh, more twigs. But yeah, twigs are kind of your lifeline in this game. It's firewood. And fire is kind of important. Unfortunately, I also need one other thing. Uh, there it is. Tree bark. So yeah, we're going to need to make tools in this game to survive. Basically, we go in here, go to make tool, and right now we can only make a, yeah, we can only make a fire starter. So, to do that, we just need to combine a twig and some tree bark. Push X, and now we have a fire starter. There we go. Alright, let's head back. Uh, I'm going to grab as many twigs as I can, though. I think that's a, that should be enough. I think I'm out of inventory room anyways. Also, this mushroom should be kicking in soon. Unless it's one of those ones that doesn't do anything. Which, at this point, might be a possibility. So this is the advantage of doing Sam instead of- Oh, wait, no. Black means we can't eat right now. Oh, that's not a pleasant sound. But anyways. The advantage of Sam over Claire is that Sam can climb up ledges that are too tall. While Claire can only do one tall. Claire has other things she can do that Sam can't though. But we'll get to those when it becomes important. Right now let's wait for the poison to go away. Actually no, we don't need to wait for it to go away before going to sleep. So anyways. Claire isn't very happy. So to start a fire, you need the fire starter and some twigs. And we get to play a little mini game. It's pretty simple. Basically just alternate between L and R. Wait for it to get up there. And then blow in the mic. There we go. We have a fire now. We're going to want to keep this fire going. Also, I've never really seen anyone use the actual fire starting technique in this game. I've heard it works, but it probably takes a while. Well, we already know your name from the game. But yeah, she's Claire. And she's a singer. Well, we got that already. And apparently we're in a relationship. Good to know. And she's kind of mad at us. Uh, let's say we'll try to remember. Deal. Um, about that. We can't eat right now. Well, 
that's relative speaking, but yeah, Claire can also cook for us. Also, I'm not sure if the game won't let us cook right now, because I kinda can't eat. But yep, we can cook over here. Um, the game won't let us progress until I cook. Whoa, Claire, kind of freaked out for a second there. Alright, fine. Let's see if it'll let me cook. Yes, it will. Alright, so we only have two options right now, to chop things or to grill them. Uh, let's cut some stuff. We don't really have much to work with. We'll cut up a uh, coconut and some seaweed. And we don't have any spices. So, how cutting works. Basically, just scribble on the bottom screen. I'm not really sure how it grades you, so I usually just cook or er, cut randomly. There we go. That looks good. Also, aren't you supposed to eat the inside of the coconut, not the outside? Hi, phone. Eh, not bad. Alright, also see how it's sparkling? That means we actually made it well. But let's try grilling something. So let's grill that clam we got, a coconut, and a seaweed. Do not cook mushrooms. It changes what they do and it randomizes it. So yeah, it's never a good idea to cook mushrooms. Also, I like how the screenshot says it looks really terrible. But basically how this one works is we wait for it to change color and then we flip it. I am currently not really looking at my touchscreen right now, so I'm not doing so well with this one. I was never good at grilling stuff. Eh? It's okay. But no, we're done cooking. Let's eat. Oh wait, the poison went away. Oh, that's not bad. How about the coconut and clam? Oh, that's also not bad. We're actually almost full right now. That's gonna change quite often. These guys go through food really quickly. Not as quickly as a second game where you have to pretty much stuff yourself every few minutes. But they'll get pretty hungry. So yeah, we can get Claire to cook for us, and we probably will for most of the game, just because I'm not good at cooking. So yep, we'll just go to sleep for the night. Aww, at least she's happy. Alright, and every time you go to sleep, you get a little summary of the day. So right now, eh, we're not doing too bad. We're full on stamina. Basically, as long as you have food in your stomach, you'll regain some stamina. Right now, we had plenty of food, so we're full on stamina, we're kind of thirsty, and we're kind of hungry. Also, we're all both at full health. Alright, we're going to save. Oh, unfortunately, the fire went out. Oh, well. I'll probably get relit later. Alright, we have a wood pile now. Basically, we need to stock firewood. As long as we have firewood and someone's in the cave, uh, the fire will stay lit. So let's keep one so we can relight the fire. And then once I relight the fire, I think I'll end the episode. There we go. So, we have a fire now. Also back here, one final thing. We have a shelf. So we can store some stuff. I'm going to put away the pendant and the fire starter. I'll keep everything else. Also, if you need food here, uh, your partner will eat it. 
if they get too hungry. Don't leave mushrooms. They, actually, no, I don't think they eat raw mushrooms. Even if you give it to them. Oh well. But anyways, next time on Let's Play Lost in Blue 3, we'll go explore the island some more. And probably find some food. So, until then. <laughs>